Hello, this is Doc Severson for the Theonite Report for Tuesday, August 22nd. What I'll start out tonight's report is with a tick chart of the NASDAQ futures. And you can see from last week, we've been making lower highs, lower lows all the way along here. Okay, corrective action. And that included even into yesterday. So yesterday morning, we printed a new lower low. Okay. And since that point, here was the big clue was right as the market was closing yesterday, printed a higher low, followed by just after the market closed a higher high. Okay, so our big change in polarity actually came yesterday evening. And so we kind of woke up this morning and the market was already pushed up a little ways and it just continued to rip higher. Now, color me not impressed yet. Color me not impressed with this move yet, because if we kind of zoom out and look at the bigger picture here, I think we can see a little bit more structure. While I'm sure all the stock media today is just going to be crowing about the big, big rally that we saw. Now, there's two problems with this being, you know, the start of a big new bull run in the market is, number one, the volume today was absolutely atrocious. So for this big of a move to the upside, there's really no accumulation going on. This was entirely short covering to the upside. A lot of people got trapped to the downside. A lot of people got too short, way too late in the pattern. And this is always what happens is they have to cover by buying back. And this is what we saw today is a constant supply of people bidding this thing up by buying back their positions. Now, in the bigger picture, if we go out to the bigger time frames here, such as the daily, weekly, and monthly, we can see a little bit more structure about what's happening here. We can see that this is still a daily downtrend, right? So still lower highs, lower lows. So today's big green candle still leaves us with nothing more than a lower high and still not even up to that trend line. Now, we actually have a trade setup based on this, which I'll bring up in just a second, and it actually offers higher probability than I'm used to seeing in this type of trade. So I'll bring that up in just a second here. But that's that's what we're seeing is basically we're just seeing a flag pattern. This daily downtrend is generating a little bit of a consolidation flag in the weekly chart, which is trying to consolidate and work off this massive 600 point plus move that we've had since February of 2016 still working on that so for me to get really really bullish on this chart one of two things has to happen on here first of all we've got to see this trend line broken above here and then one of two things from that is that either the price needs to print a higher high from here or a combination of a higher low and then a higher high from here to basically change polarity on this and push it higher i don't expect big things from that if that does happen just because we are seeing each of these breakouts from a consolidation gets smaller and smaller and smaller. What we have to be on guard for is the potential lower high. So if this does break higher from here, this is how reversals propagate. First of all, it starts at a smaller time frame like the daily chart. And eventually what happens is it will propagate over to the weekly chart. And the way that the weekly chart would manifest this is with a lower high as well just like this one from last week on the daily chart. If the weekly chart rallies up and then prints a lower high, imagine how many people are gonna be on the wrong side of that price. Just like being on the wrong side of the boat, when the wind shifts, the boom swings over and knocks them all overboard, right? This is where the nasty moves come from, is off of the lower high. The lower high is the most damaging pattern that you will see and technical analysis. This is where everybody's on the wrong side of the price. Now to that end, let me bring up the spiders and talk about the expected move. So this is where we kind of combine technical with quant and we talk about statistics with the expected move. This is something that we're doing every week is that as we get to the weekend, we're looking at the expected move for that Friday. Okay, so the, the opening price or the closing price actually for Friday was 242.71 on the S&P. And we had a 3.455 plus minus expected move. And that gives us an upper target of 246.17 and a lower target of 239.26. Now notice this here. 
we have the expected move not that far away. It's actually within a point on the spiders or 10 handles on the full S&P. It is not beyond reason to think that within the next couple of days we could see that level tested. Notice what's in the way here is a nice trend line. Okay, So this is where we can have statistics go hand in hand with technical chart pattern. And these trend lines, there's nothing in the trend line that says that the price has to stop there. But enough people see that on the S&P that enough longs will think, hey, maybe I will take profits up there. I will lighten up my position. And it creates this sort of self-fulfilling prophecy. So I like the fade up here at 246.17. The way that we would trade that is we're going to be using front week options, in this case, the 25 AUG options, okay? So if this happens on, let's say, Wednesday, I will more than likely use an in-out spread. So something like a 245, 246, for example, right? So whatever would be at the money at that point, I can set up unity risk to reward for that. So like for a $1 wide spread, I can set up something for less than 50 cents and fade that level. So it's a very cheap fade. Now, if we get into Thursday or Friday and that level is tested, this is where I can just buy an outright put. We don't have to worry about time value decay that much with like a day or two left to go in this, right? So we could just buy something with a 50 delta and look for a very quick move on that fade to the downside. Again, our risk is limited. That's very, very important. Everything that we do here at Theotrade emphasizes limited risk in whatever we do. All right, folks, that is it for today's report. Have a great evening, and we will see you tomorrow.